Hey guys, I've had some requests to uh, cover some really, really basic, uh, fundamental uh, concepts regarding a guitar. And especially what are the parts of the guitar, what are they called, what do they do, and that kind of stuff. So I'm, uh, I'm going to get into that. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, the parts of the guitar, what their function is, uh, what they do for us, and uh, how we use them. So that's kind of right. So uh, here are three of my guitars. Um, this one is the Eastman uh, Acoustic Electric. Um, I love this guitar. I love the way it sounds. It has a great acoustic sound. Steel string acoustic. <laughs> out of tune, but nonetheless, I got a tune up. This is a Fender Telecaster, and somebody asked me what is the difference between Telecaster and Stratocaster, and that's basically what you're looking at. This one over here is the Fender Stratocaster. This one is the Telecaster. Both of these are straight up electric guitars. So let's take a look first at the uh, Eastman acoustic guitar. And you'll see, let's start up here. This top part is called the head. This is the headstock of the guitar. These are the tuners. They're also called Machine Head. Um, Machine Head was the name of an album by the band Deep Purple. Great album, by the way. It had to smoke on the water and a bunch of great songs on it. <clears throat> and I believe on the cover of the album, it showed the uh, a bass guitar Machine Head. Um, but most commonly they're called the tuners, okay? Um, this white piece right here is called the nut. And you'll notice that there's one of those on all of these guitars. There's the nut here, and there's the nut on the Stratocaster. And you'll see that the strings are guided through that nut. And then the strings proceed on down the guitar to this piece here called the bridge. And the strings are anchored here with these things called bridge pins. And this white piece down here is actually called the bridge saddle. So the string comes up over the bridge saddle, is stretched the length of the guitar until it crosses the nut, and then it wraps around the tuner. Okay? And since the string is stretched between those two points, when you pluck it, it vibrates. Okay? Notice that the bridge on the Stratocaster and Telecaster are a little bit different. The nut's pretty much identical, but the bridges are a little bit different. These allow for adjustments forward and backwards to account for the gauge of the strings. Many guitars have different preferences about what gauge strings they like to use. So, and this one here is the Stratocaster. Okay, the primary difference between the acoustic electric and the straight up electric guitars has to do with the method that the signal, uh, the sound actually, is picked up and amplified. In the case of the acoustic, you can think of it like a microphone. There's a microphone that's inside the guitar. The uh, controls you may not be able to see that are located right here, and there's a battery up in there that powers it. And then on the back of the guitar, in the, uh, where that uh, strap button is, is actually the plug where you connect the uh, cable to it. It goes to something like that, an amplifier, or maybe one of those over there. I usually use the acoustic amplifier over there with the acoustic guitar, and this amplifier with the electric guitars. I have several of those as well. Really nice sounding guitar. Uh, generally speaking, this is the body. This area down here, there's the body on the strat, the body on, I mean the strat, and the body of the Telecaster. The long section coming up and down is called the neck. Uh, we already talked about the head, and then this uh, area here is called the uh, sound hole. Okay, sound hole. Now on electric guitars, 
Uh, like I said, on the acoustic guitar, you can think of it like a microphone inside. It's kind of similar. They call it a piezo because it uh, piezo uh, meaning capacitance, and if, you don't need to know about that unless you're into physics or electronics or whatever. Um, on an electric guitar, we have these things called the pickups, um, where the pickup on a, on the acoustic guitar is kind of like a microphone inside. Here we have pickups that use a principle called induction, electromagnetic induction. These little dots here, 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 dots, are magnets and wrapped around the outside of that is a coil of wire. So that when we pluck the string, the, the str uh, strings are made of steel. And by the way, nylon strings will not work on this guitar. Uh, but those uh, steel strings vibrate and disturb that magnetic field. When they do, they induce or push the electricity through that coil of wire. And then that coil of wire, that wire is routed through the controls here, this switch, which picks between this one and this one. So on all the way in the up position, it's just this pickup. Middle position is both of those together. Down position, just the bridge pickup. Okay. And then there's a control for volume and tone. And then when it leaves this guitar, it comes out there through that connector. And the cable connects to the amplifier. Which is why when you're playing electric guitar uh, without an amplifier, it's not very loud because... Um, it needs the amplification to make it loud and so it needs to send that electrical signal uh, through the pickups from the pickups out through that cable and into the guitar amplifier the amplifier has a speaker in it and that's what reproduces the sound for us the speaker inside the amplifier is what actually vibrates the air so that we can hear it with our ears so that's it guys, those are generally the parts of the guitar, that's what we're looking at. Um, feel free to leave any comments in the comments section below if you like. Uh, happy to hear from you, happy to respond to comments. Um, up there somewhere is my ugly mug, click on it, subscribe to the channel, I'd love to have you join me. Thanks so much for watching guys, bye.